It's the weekend, so it's key matchups time. I'm Evan Lazar for CLNS Media, bringing you key matchups for the Patriots Week 7 game against the New York Jets right here at Gillette Stadium. And on the offensive side of the ball for the Patriots, looking at a key matchup in the trenches for New England. We know the Pats have some injuries on the offensive line, some moving parts. We don't really know who is going to be at left and right tackle for New England. And arguably the best player on the New York Jets roster right now is defensive end John Franklin Myers, who just signed a massive extension with the Jets. Franklin Myers, an underrated player for New York league-wide, a long, big, hard guy to move in the run game, but also can use that length and his quick first step to get up the field and rush the passer and really get his hands in passing lanes and bat a lot of passes down at the line of scrimmage. A player in Franklin Myers whose length has given the Patriots tackle some problems so far this season. Long, explosive guys like Randy Ge Gregory or Tampa Bay's Joe Tyrone have given the Patriots some problems this season. So he looks like a player to me that could wreck this game for the Patriots and Mac Jones if the Pats are not ready with a decent game plan on the offensive line on how to handle him. Robert Sala, the Jets head coach, will move Franklin Myers inside a little bit on passing downs as well. So the Patriots guards will have to be ready to go up against him in Sunday's game too. So just one player in the New York front that is a little bit underrated. They're sixth in pressure rate. They're pretty good against the run as well. John Franklin Myers, a player that could wreck the day for the Patriots if they do not have a pre if they're not prepared to go up against the underrated Jets defensive end. On the other side of the ball, a couple of matchups to look at on defense for the Patriots, but I want to start with the pass rush because New England's pass rush over the last couple of weeks has flown under the radar a little bit as a massive problem for this Patriots defense. Last week against Dak Prescott, they only pressured Prescott on 26.5% of his dropbacks. New England's blitz package, not as effective as we've seen in years past. 18 15th in pressure rate right now when they blitz. So the Patriots have to figure out a way to get some pressure on the quarterback. And they go up against another guy, similarly to Dak, that you don't want to allow outside the pocket. And sometimes I think the Patriots get caught up and not allowing guys like Dak or Wilson to extend plays that they forget to pressure him a little bit. And then he just sits back there behind the offensive line and has all day to throw. So being able to generate pressure on Zach Wilson, but not allowing him to get out of the pocket is a fine line to walk for this Patriots defense, but it's one that they will have to do effectively on Sunday because the only way that Wilson beats you is if he gets outside the pocket and he starts to shred you on those extended plays. So the Patriots pass rush looking for a bounce back day against the Jets on Sunday. Offensively, don't let John Franklin Myers ruin your afternoon. Those are your key matchups for Patriots Jets. We will have you completely covered on CLNSmedia.com and on Patriots Press Pass for Patriots Jets right here at Gillette Stadium. I'm Evan Lazar for CLNS Media. Thanks for watching.